Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Frisco, Texas. With me, I've got a very excited Jay Harris. Jay, you're up against a very tough uh, opponent in Julio Cesar Martinez. Tough little man. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling. I'm feeling great, man. Um, I'm just taking it all in. Like yesterday was it's a real moment for myself. Like doing the head to heads with everyone, with Garcia Vargas, Parker's right next to me. Obviously, yeah, Cal's there and my opponent Martinez and it was just just trying to soak it all in my face on the big screen is what a, what a moment and uh, it's, it's just exciting 18 months ago when you I think you work at Amazon don't you you were ready to chuck it in boxing there was no opportunities for you there now 18 months later I mean European champion IBF Intercontinental champion fighting for the WBC flyweight world title in Texas on the zone, on Sky Sports, man. How are you, you ah, just how are you feeling at this moment in time when you break it down, like from 18 months to now? It, well, as you, as you said, it, like last 18 months ago, I was on the verge of just giving it up. Um, but thankfully for the guys at MDK, they signed me up, and within the space of a year, my life has pretty much changed. They've delivered everything that they've 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 said. The European title, IBF, and the continent. Now we're on the verge of a world title shot. Well, I'm you for a world title shot, and. It's just unbelievable, and I, it's, this Saturday is going to be spectacular. I think it's going to be one to remember. Are you just living in the moment right now? Oh, 100%, mate. It's, it's, it's just surreal. It's just it's such an exciting time for myself, and there be, there's boxers out there that would like kill to be in my position, like where, where I'm at now, and I and I get to do it. That's how I feel. We've seen Martinez, we've seen him against Andrew Selby, a countryman of yours. Selby was doing well in the fight until he got stopped. Charlie Edwards obviously got the no, no contest because he got hit, but he was putting on Charlie yeah. Martinez. And then I, I was out in Phoenix back in December when he basically stopped a very, very tough opponent in Christoph, Christopher Rosales. Have you, what can you take from these, these three fights with Selby, Edwards and Rosales? What have you taken from this fight to give you confidence going into your own fight against Martinez? I'm, I'm just confident in my own ability. Um, I'm an aggressive fighter myself, so I, I know I can fight, um, and I know I can box on the back foot if I if I need to be. Like, but as you said, Andrew Selby was. I thought he was winning the fight until the body shot. Charlie Edwards, we all know he was he was drained of the weight, and Fed was he, he gave Rosales a bit of a pace in. But Rosales is a tough man, man. He, he gave a, give as good as he got, got for the first couple of rounds, and then Fed was to Martinez. He took over then. But um, I believe I'm a better boxer than Rosales, and I think I'm a, I'm a tough. I'm a. I think I can cause a massive upset. Set you. I really do. I really, really do. I've seen you yesterday and all that. You seem relaxed. You, you've got, to be fair. You've always got a smile on your face. There's nothing new when I see you. You're always smiling. So when I see you smiling, I know you're relaxed and you're calm. Is this just another fight for you, or is there a little bit of nerves that you are? fighting out in the States, you're on a huge platform, or you just, like, just relax, like I said. It's the biggest opportunity in my life. That's, that's the way I'm thinking. This fight, if I win, could potentially change my life forever. I got a baby on the way, and yeah, as I said, after this now, if I win this fight, I can change my life and my family's life forever. And that's what I'm more focused on now, is just get this fight, win this fight, and change my life. WBC world champion. Jay Harris, how's that sound? Sounds perfect. Sounds perfect. <laughs> well, I'm not going to announce that. The WBC title is probably the most prestigious title. Every single boxer wants the green belt. That's what they say. The WBC title is the title to have. There's all the IBFs, there's the WBO, WBA. The Ring magazine is probably up there as well. Being WBC world champion, if, when, if and when you become WBC world champion, What's next for you? Are you just going to go straight out? You're not a person to call anyone out. I know that. You're a nice, but are you wanting these unification fights? Are you going to be on an Eddie to say, listen, I want that champion, I want him, and I want him. Let's unify, let's do this. Well, if we get like, if we win it now, and um, obviously I will defend it or, or whatever they want me to do, but a unification fight would be good, wouldn't it? Do you know, there's uh, Maruk Dues with MTK. Um, you got the WBO is fighting off on McGregor and, and the Delacan is WBA, but. I'll just take any fight that, that comes my way now. After this, is just see what happens. Because you won't be chasing fights. The no, fighters will be chasing you. Exactly. Yeah, for a change. They'll be ch chasing me for a change. I won't be chasing anyone. But as I said, I won't, I won't be calling anybody out. I'll just take, say, it's my mandatory. I'll take that. And if, if the unification fight comes up, I'll 100% take that as well.
Can we see a world title fight in Swansea? Oh, I'd love it. Love it. <laughs> Liberty Stadium, sell the place out. Come on. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 if, if you invite me down, I'll oh, come down I'll and definitely, yeah, definitely. We've just seen a, a British fighter in Tyson Fury out in Vegas last week. He was an underdog going into the Wilder fight, a big puncher. Same as Martinez is a big puncher down at your weight. Fury was the underdog going in. What inspiration do you take from that fight, watching Fury go in there and put it on the guy that's meant to be the hardest hitter in boxing today? What inspiration do you take from that? Wait, underdogs win. I, I, you, you see this, like I, I'm mega underestimated in this fight, I think. Um, but he's got, got me like a 7 to 1 underdog, right? But the underdogs win. As you said, Tyson Fury was the underdog. He put it on him, he wins. But he Ruiz against Josh, who would have, who would have thought that? Mm-hmm. Ruiz did it and, and won. It, there's always a chance, and I think I got a massive chance, 100%, definitely. Confidence is booming. Just stay on the, the the Fury Wilder fight. What did you make of Tyson's performance? I mean, he went in there, told everyone he was going to put it on Wilder. No one believed him. Then he came in at 273 pounds. People were saying you're too heavy, but he used his weight to perfection. He just keeps on proving people wrong, doesn't he? 100%. Uh, when I watched it, he, he pretty much beat Fury, beat, beat Wilder up, didn't he? Just beat him up. And uh, he was doing stuff that was like really, you know, like hanging on him, putting the weight on him, making him tired, and he just filled him in in the end. And uh, it was great to watch. Uh, he should have won the first one, and it's retribution really, and then he won the second one. So, well, I don't think a third fight should happen. I should, I don't, I don't think because you, you want to see Joshua. Yeah, yeah. everyone wants to see it. Anyway, that's that's the fight everybody wants to see. The undisputed, then, isn't it? Yeah. So I think everybody wants to see that fight. It's the only fight out there, really. Tyson's brought a WBC belt back to the UK. Jay Harris going to bring that WBC belt back to the UK? Stupid question, because I've probably asked you this three times in sort of like a different format of question, but two green belts in a space a week back to the UK, man, that's something special, isn't it? Yes, that's it's happening. It's got a good feeling, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Well, Jay, I won't keep you much longer. God, there's the set up for the press conference here. You've done your portraits, you've done everything you need. How are you, how are you finding the sort of like difference between the UK sort of fight week to the US? Is there a difference? It was, um, it was a bit of a surreal thing as it goes. Um, when we were... F- First out here, say uh, we come arrived on the Saturday. The Saturday and Sunday we didn't really do much, but it didn't really sink in properly. Um, it was just like we were out here on a, on a trip. It was weird. Mm-hmm. And then um, obviously we did the head to heads then, and then it kind of sunk in. Then it's, it's fight week and it, and it started the buzz started going, the nerves started going a little bit. It's exciting time. But before that, I I wasn't really thinking about anything I was just it was like another trip it was it was weird it was a weird feeling but now it's all this is happening it's starting to sink in massively now and it's great well Jay I won't keep you much longer you look calm you look ready and I can't wait for Saturday night so <laughs> good luck to you and good luck to your team and uh, do it let's yes, do it I will thank you thank you very much no worries champ thank you